Hello, everyone. I am Ezekiel Bruni, a writer, nerd, and occasional web designer over at Website Planet. Active Campaign is an email marketing platform designed to help you driving growth with customer experience, automation, and customer relations uh, management tools, that's CRM. This video review is actually based on my own personal experiences with Active Campaign, as I wrote a full on written review for Website Planet. The link to that will be in the description, and I suggest you check it out if this video interests you, because there is a lot more detail in the written review. We can't cover everything in the time we have. And without further ado, on to the features. Let's start with why you're here, actually sending emails. You can create actually several different types of email campaigns, all of which uh, make me so very happy. You've got your standard one-time email. You've got your autoresponders that will, you know, be sent after someone subscribes. You've got your split testing. Unfortunately, split testing here on Active Campaign only means testing. Like in theory, you're able to send out like multiple different versions of the same email and to a group of people and you know you see which one performs better unfortunately the split testing is restricted to subject lines that's it you can only split test subject lines and you can also send an email whenever an rss feed is updated and you can send uh emails on birthdays anniversaries and more frankly the campaign types stretch into the category of automation which i'll get into in a bit the actual design of your email can be accomplished in several ways you can choose from basic templates, which are, you know, um, almost blank. Um, you know, you can, you, you start with basic layouts, which are even more blank, and start from scratch completely. Or you can choose a designed template, which is what I would re usually recommend doing. It's a lot faster. They trend towards the minimalist, and they mostly look pretty good. Like some of them look maybe a little dated and some of them are very like similar. There are a lot of variations on the same theme that you'll find in this gallery, <laughs> nearly endless gallery of templates, but mostly they look good. The actual email editor is really simple stuff. You can add text blocks, images, buttons, video, RSS feeds, um, social links, and custom blocks of HTML code if you want to. It's really, really simple stuff, honestly. All in all, you're not going to spend a lot of time here. It's meant to just help you get content into an email and go. You know, you're not getting the fanciest layouts, but then again, email doesn't really do fancy layouts. So, you know, that works. But of course, you need uh, someone to send your emails to. So let's have a look at how contacts are managed by Active Campaign. Honestly, pretty well for the most part. Adding contacts is very easy. You can just add one of them manually. You can also import them. Uh, you can import from a CSV file. Unfortunately, you cannot uh, import from like text files or Excel files. You should be able to, but you can't. But you can copy and paste them. But where Active Campaign does excel in this regard is letting you import ca contacts from any of all of these services, including PayPal and one, two, three contact form and so on and so forth. And yes, you can set up newsletter signup forms to get contacts as well. And of course you can separate and segment your contact list. You can clean up the, clean it up by people who, you know, haven't been engaging with your emails lately. You can tag contacts, you can export your contacts and segmentation, which allows you to create sort of dynamic lists of contacts based on certain criteria, allows you to create lists that are, you know, like that update when new contacts are added that meet the criteria. So let's say uh, date, cre date subscribed or date created. So this is uh, segmenting all of my contacts by the date they were created. If so search, there we go. It's showing all of my contacts based on those search criteria. And then we can add another condition. So uh, contact deal, uh, uh, contact details, email is, let's grab one of these emails. And now it's uh, created a list of just that one person because this is the only email that fits the criteria. So that's cool stuff and useful for determining like how you want to, you know, finding the pe specific people you want to market to. 
Uh, then there's, of course, automation, which can also help you auto well automate your whole email process. So you can so some of those things we saw earlier, like sending a blo uh, blog post out whenever you update one via it sends it out via email. That's cool. You can invite people to your book club if you're an author. For example, if uh, someone's uh, you know gone and sh shopping on your website and they have put something in the cart. You can use a workflow that works like this, looks like this. So you set up your trigger here, you know, and say in Presta Shop they haven't signed up, they they haven't uh, bought the product, uh, the the product. So it waits for three hours, then it sends an email saying, "Come back and purchase the product, why don't you?" And then it ends the automation. It's a very simple way to do things very quickly without having to do it yourself. I mean, you set it up once and then you just let it run. Next up, we're looking at the reports. The reports are pretty bare bones at first glance, especially because I only have a little bit of test data to work with. But you can see who's been uh, opening and reading your emails, how many people have been clicking on them, forwarding them, unsubscribing them, or how many emails are just getting through. You can see the activity stream. You can, you know, start looking at more detailed uh, reports, like these are the people who actually opened and read the email and clicked on the email, you know, clicked on the link in the email. Lots of stuff like that. You know, you can actually get pretty detailed reports on just about everything. Uh, chat conversations, although I, I don't have that set up. <laughs> so this is not like what you'd call a complete list of features, but there are more in the in the written review. Be sure, again, check the description below. Uh, click that link and read the whole review because it's got basically, it's got more of what you want to know. <laughs> And here we have the Active Campaigns add-ons and apps. You can integrate Active Campaign with Facebook, WordPress, Zapier, Google Analytics, Shopify, and a bunch of other services I've never even heard of. You have options. So that's cool stuff. Now let's get into some stuff that's not so easy to show, you know, on screen. First up, I'd like to discuss deliverability. I can't tell you that, you know, Active Campaign has a 67% deliverability rating or anything like that. That's not how the internet works. Servers are complicated. Very complicated. But I can tell you that in general, Active Campaign, um, emails sent from Active Campaign have a better than decent chance of getting where they're supposed to go. Because they have DKIM authentication, which is an encryption method that basically allows your server to tell the email servers. The email providers, yes, this email really comes from us. You know, it really comes from you and your company. That sort of trust is important. Active Campaign also has a strong anti-spam policy. Basically, if you get caught sending spam, you will get screwed. And your you your <laughs> your account can even get um, put under review just for having a bounce rate that's too high, or a high unsubscription rate, and a high complaint rate. So basically, you have to make your customers happy, or Active Campaign will put you under review. Um, however, I uploaded a test of like um, known spammers. I uploaded a list of emails of known spammers and just to see if the addresses would get rejected because that's a system some of these companies have and they did not, Active Campaign did not pass the test. Active Campaign does allow affiliate marketing, which is eh, because some affiliate marketers are spammers, but they have specific rules in place that basically allow them to kick you off the platform if you're using affiliate marketing for evil. And you can't run your own affiliate marketing program via Active Campaign. And you can get a private dedicated IP address, which means that basically your email from Active Campaign will be separated, as far as email providers are concerned, from all the other email they send, which is good because that means a spam if a spammer uses Active Campaign, your email's reputation will not suffer. Um, more information, of course, in the written review. And uh, let's wrap it up. Support. My experiences with the support were great, were very helpful, even outside of business hours. You can contact them via phone, live chat, and email uh, on business hours, like 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Central Time or 8 a.m. to 5 uh, p.m. the Central Time for the phone support. So, you know, they, they operate in North American business hours, but... You know, the, when they are active, you get responses quite quickly, and they're quite helpful. And the pricing is decent. It's, the pricing could be cheaper, but it's good for what you get. It's good for the features. Full pricing details in the written review, because that's where we can keep them updated. I can't say anything specific here, because prices are subject to change. Okay. Uh, so, Active Campaign, I honestly think it's a solid choice for all your email marketing needs. 
Uh, it's easy to integrate into any existing tool chain full of apps and features. So just go ahead and you know use Active Campaign if you want your email marketing separate from all your other things like, say, your site builder or your e-commerce uh, platform or whatever. I hope you found this video useful and helpful and informative. <laughs> I hope you had a good time. This is Ezekiel Bruni signing out.